Looking to get involved in some adult sports leagues this fall? If so, then we have some good news for you. The Grand Rapids Tidal Waves women's tackle football team is seeking new players for their 2021 season. Joining us to talk more about it is president of the Tidal Waves, Pam Blazo. Pam, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. All right, well, let's talk about this. First of all, I didn't realize there was a women's tackle football team here in Grand Rapids. Talk about the program a little bit. Yeah, so uh, we've actually started back in the fall of 2017. Um, 2018, 2019 were our first two seasons. Unfortunately, last year uh, we did get canceled for COVID. Um, so we're heading into our third season of uh, competitive play. It is an all-female team. Uh, we're part of a national league, over 65 teams. So it is full 11-person tackle football, um, just like you see on Saturday on TV for the college. Uh, we play by the same college rules as they do. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so talk about, you know, who should try out. I mean, you clearly have to have some experience, right? Or no, I mean. Well, actually, most of our uh, athletes that join have little to no playing okay. experience before they join, just because growing up, uh, most women do not have the opportunity to play uh, like the guys do. So we take people with zero experience. Um, basically, we're looking for athletes. If you have a desire, you're competitive, uh, you want to learn, we will teach you everything you need to know. So we have some great coaches, um, and the season starts in April, so we have a lot of time. Uh, you'll be ready by then. I'm looking at some pictures while you're, you're talking to us. And uh, Are you the quarterback? I am one of our uh, two quarterbacks, yes. That's fantastic. I used to play quarterbacks, so I'm always a big fan <laughs> of quarterbacks. All right, hey, let's talk about it. So what, you know, obviously with obviously the pandemic and all that, so what would tryouts look like? Uh, you know, how much contact is there? That kind of thing. Yeah, so at tryouts, uh, we don't require any kind of equipment. It's non-contact in general for tryouts. Again, we're looking for those athletes. Um, so we're going to be running through a lot of non-contact drills, change of motion, um, how quick you can get up, um, just speed, basic things like that. Um, maybe tackling against a pad, but no kind of person-to-person -person contact. So we will have our six-foot social distancing that is required. So what? It's just so interesting I to me. I love. Oh Let's my gosh! I don't know. I don't know about that. But <laughs> who knows? Well, you come never, on out to our mini camp. There yeah, I go. know. You never know. I mean, what has it been like to be a part of this and see it, you know, come to life? Um, I'm sure. You know, it's really cool for these women to be able to be out there and do this because, like you said, maybe it's something they've always wanted to do but right. never had the chance. Yeah, it, it's been great as an experience. I, I personally have played on a couple other teams before we founded this team because um, there are a lot of athletes in Grand Rapids. And we we thought let's let's give everyone the opportunity over here as well. Um, it's just amazing to see the growth um, when they first come in the mini camps and they come in the tryouts versus. They get into midseason, and you see the pictures, you see the videos. Um, they're full-on tackle football players. So a lot of them, um, it's just amazing to see that growth and the knowledge and their confidence. Pam, how far do you go to actually play? Do you have to travel quite a distance, or is it all mostly in Michigan? No, there's only three teams right now in Michigan. Uh, there's one in Lansing, one in Detroit, and then us, of course. Uh, so we do travel out of state for our away games during the season. Usually just maybe one state away, um, but we have gone to like Pittsburgh. And then the national championship, uh, depending on where it's held each year, when you make playoffs, you could be traveling a little bit further. Uh, but we do kind of travel as a team, uh, usually uh, renting some vans and some buses and, and go as a team to those games. Perfect. And real quick, just give people the information, um, you know, if they want to learn more, come try out. Yeah, so the easiest way to get the information is to go to our website, uh, titlewaysfootball.com. Uh, but right now we have two open tryouts scheduled, uh, October 17th and 24, and they're 1 to 3.30 p.m. at Douglas Walker Park out in Byron Center. Um, we do have a couple of mini camps for people like yourself that you're kind of undecided yes. you want to check it out. You know, come to our mini camp. Uh, no commitment there. Uh, just run through some drills, meet the team, and those are September 26th and October 3rd. And those are also at Douglas Walker from okay. 1 to 3.30. Cool. All right, Pam, thanks for being here. We appreciate the information. Yes, thanks again for having us.